Hello everyone, Ray Waldo, the Bishop of Technology. Uh, check our website, raywaldo.com. Today we're loading up this little SD card. This is a Kingston 4 gigabyte uh, SD card. It's class 4, very cheap. With this little uh, SD adapter, it goes to USB. Put that in there. And then we're going to put it into the Windows USB port. This is Windows. Can you believe that I'm actually running Windows for a change? But I want to demonstrate how you can create a Ubuntu disk uh, to uh, from this SD card on this SD card that you can use to uh, run Ubuntu off of your Windows machine without changing your Windows machine at all. We're using a program that I downloaded for free off of the internet. Uh, you can get a link from my site or you can uh, just Google this Linux Live USB Creator. And uh, so we have the USB car key in there. We select it and uh, it's a 3.6 gigabyte. There it is. Okay. It already has been formatted for this machine, uh, for this program. So here we're using it already. The image file is already here. So we select that. I downloaded that from Ubuntu.com or this program will actually download it for you. And the persistence, and it says this version is compatible. Uh, the persistence, we want to take every bit we can get of the persistence file. Now, normally you wouldn't use so much persistence. It stores your uh, data and back uh, your settings and things like that. But we also use it for uh, programming and we're going to run some some scripts and things in the background, so we'll need this extra space. So uh, you can format the program, or format the key in FAT32, it'll erase your current data, otherwise it'll keep the data. So we don't want to do that. And that's all we need to do, and we just launch it, and it asked if we really want to do that, and I say yes, and so we click OK to that, and it's going. So it's starting to format the key. There we go. Okay, so that's all we need to do with that. Now again, it's raywaldo.com if you want to come to the site or you can just download this program directly from the uh, internet and it will actually find, uh, you don't even have to download the images, uh, the ISO files for the, the program uh, for the, US, for the uh, Ubuntu or you could use another program, another version of Linux. Uh, it has several versions that it will find for you. So uh, that's it for today. Check raywaldo.com for more information. Till next time, bye.